Hi, this is Ithiar from Bimsur International, and in this video you will learn how to design a workflow process using Workflow Studio. Let's get started. On a previous video, I showed you how to design an expense declaration form, and now you'll learn how to associate a workflow process to that form. Here you can see the workflow already created, but let's take a look first at the different controls available on the toolbox. We can add a standard flow controls, such as the flow start and end, a variable, or the state of the flow. We can drag and drop icons that represent employees or groups of employees. We can use the notification tool to inform users whenever the flow advances to the next step, or we can export the form into PDF, among other things. If we analyze this flow, we see that the process begins with a flow starter creating and submitting a new expense declaration. That user has a manager who can either approve or reject the expense. And we see that the document state element is updated to approved if the manager is okay with that expense. Then, depending on the total amount, the flow can follow two different paths. If the expense is less than $500, it is someone in the finance department who has to approve the expense, and if it is over $500, it has to go through the president first. Once everyone approves the expense, the flow sorter is notified via email, and the flow history accessible on EBA will show that the process has finished. And basically, this is how we can create a very simple workflow process. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. If you missed the video about how to create a form in Workflow Studio, make sure to watch this next video.